hello everybody welcome to your new session today we are going to discuss about failed scenario execution in cucumber how to execute a failed scenario in cucumber when a normal run execution happen when you're executing suppose 20 and 30 or 50 test cases your execution is happening but some test cases are failing so you want to re-execute that failed test cases the failed test cases can happen due to multiple reason one you are executing your test case after the deployment so it might happen that start of two or three seconds or ten one minute your application is not stable it's coming up but your script has got started executing so you want to retry that script which are failing another is data are not present at the start of execution but when your test case start, started or some 20 50 scenarios has got executed you have enough data to execute your first fail scenarios like first 10 scenarios or whatever the fail scenarios another is application is not stable there is a reason behind like application is not stable and the, your scripts are failing so it's happening intermediately so you want to retry that script again is really failing due to script or its other reasons are there like after deployment or executing or data are not there application is unstable so in that way you want to execute your script so to execute your script in as after failed scenario or you want to rerun your uh, failed scenario you don't need a extra jars and all or dependencies and all just simply we are going to use whatever is there for the cucumber what do you need to do it you need to create a second runner class where you need to call the reno.txt file now how the reno.txt file get generated let's go into the eclipse and see so what i have done it here i have two runner class one to run the scenario and another to run the re uh, run the failed scenario so in the first runner class i have added one plugin you can see it this is a plugin argument i have given rerun equal to target slash rerun dot text file so what it does it will run all your scenarios based on your tag or feature file which you are going to execute and it will enter the data into the rerun dot text file based on the scenarios are failing based on the feature file and the scenario number when i say scenario number means scenario line name number okay i'll show you right now and second runner class i'm created which will execute after the first runner class executed means after all your test cases got executed reader dot text file has generated and reader dot text dot file contains some of the scenario name it does not contain the name it contains the line number which are scenarios got failed it will contain the line number now before i have executed so it has generated the reader dot file so you can see that from the feature file colon 5 colon 5 means scenario number 5 has got failed means line number 5 has got failed it it's try to identify the scenario based on the line number okay so this will start executing again so let me delete these two files folders which has got generated okay second runner class we have done one uh, change of path of a report generation the reason behind that in the first runner class we are running some 50 or 100 scenarios okay and the reports are getting generated into the target folder under cucumber html reports and cucumber.json report when we are doing a rerun we are not generating the same rerun into that file because it will again it will try to override the old report so we'll lose the all the status of the 20 or 50 or 100 scripts which we have executed so in other sense we want to generate the rerun report into different folders okay so what we are doing it we are passing the new target folder like t1 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 and re and running the rerun.txt file from the target folder you can see it because the rerun.txt file will here generate into the target folder now you will ask the question then how to uh, combine both the report there is a video to combine all the report in a single report you can watch uh, i don't know what is the number of the video but you can go into my uh, channel and you can watch how you can combine multiple report in a single reports like when i we are executing in a parallel zone what happened multiple reports generated in based on the configuration we have given because it's happening in a multiple trade so reports are generating the multiple folder structure and we have combined into a single report so you can watch that video okay so 
we are generating the report into the target one okay now here you can see it uh, so what we need to do it we we cannot execute directly from right click and then the rerun will get executed to rerun the failed scenario we are going to execute the test case from the command prompt or the console because when you are going to execute from the pipeline okay you are going to execute from the command prompt or a console from of a jenkins or from a project or anywhere you are going to execute it so what i'm going to do i'm going to the project and then going to execute the scenario so let me go here so i'll just type marvin clean install here and it will execute the first runner class and then the second runner class okay so you can see it, it will pick up the two runner class i will see runner class runner class okay just pick up the two runner class okay and we have given the runner class rename I mean the name in such a way that the second the rerun runner class would come after the first runner class so that marvin can pick up the first runner class and execute all the scenarios and then it will pick up the second runner class where it will only pick up the failed scenarios so if you go it has got executed and it has got executed the failed scenario also hopefully so let me refresh the folders so two folder has got generated you can see target one and target two so first runner class contain all the test case executions and second can will contain the failed scenarios only okay and the second also will contain the only the failed scenarios got it so in this way we are achieving the rerun of, of the failed scenario make sure that you are giving the rerun uh, rerun uh, runner class name as a such a way that it should come after the first runner class and you can and as you know uh, there is a pom where we are just mentioning the runner class starting name so it will pick up whatever the runner class is there as you know the marvin swirl plugin only pick up the junit classes when you run from the command prompt so it has picked up the first junit classes so rerun is a junit class how to know just click here you can come to know there is a junit classes so this is also a junit classes thanks for watching this video hope this will helpful to you